What is going on guys? Welcome back to the Fortified Gaming Channel. We're here with more Dynasty Warriors 8 Empires. This episode, we are going to raise a banner to form a new kingdom in our current territory. So we're fighting Meng Huo. The only other officer we have with us is Zhu Rong. How many troops do we have? Okay, 6,250 troops. Going against a bunch of them. So we are going to fight Meng Huo and try and take his land. Hopefully we don't lose. We shouldn't. We should be fine. Okay. Uh, just me and her. Okay, custom saddle. So we have 6,000 troops, they have 15,000 troops. Let's get into it. Okay, uh, we have to go get them, but, where's my horse? I just called you horse, where'd you go? There it is, good god. Oh, people are here already, never mind, guess we'll fight these guys. We're going the wrong way, I'm an asshole. Where are they? Are they above me? I guess. Yeah. Alright, I gotta go around then. I'm gonna go out here. Yeah, but I can't go up. Oh, there's stairs right here. I'm a loser. Alright. Okay, I think we fixed this place. Time to advance. The good thing is, we have like the top section. You can see the map in the right hand corner. There's like a top section. And there's only one way to get to it, which is through this gate. So once I get through this gate, really nobody's getting through. Because ain't nobody getting through swag money. Shut up, you're dead. <laughs> Man, don't skip me and go in there. See what he did? I already killed 900 people. Which is crazy when you think about it, but... Who's next? Who are you? Mang Yan Chen? Mang Yan Chang? I can't pronounce these names. I've played Dynasty Warriors since ever since Dynasty Warriors 2 or 3. And there's been like so many games for each one. There's like 2, 3, 3 Extreme Legends, 4, 4 Extreme Legends, 4 Empires, 5 Empires and Extreme Legends, 6, 7, 8, all this stuff. There's been so many. And most of the same characters are in each one, and I still can't pronounce all their names. I can pronounce some of them way better than I could, but it's still not as good as it should be. Meng Huo! Boom! Tornado! You lose. I win. Sorry. You're dead. We defeated his commander. We win. Stop trying to hit me. We take over all of his area. We take over his land. We captured him. So this is the cool thing. You can capture different bosses, different generals from the areas that you invade and take over. And you have three options. You can recruit them, release them, or execute them. So I always try, I run a tight ship. I recruit you. They say, uh, never gonna happen, okay, then you die. I know it's kind of messed up, but that's how I do it. If you don't join me, you must decline such humiliating treatment, well, you're dead now. Uh, there's no release, you ain't coming back to get me later. If you don't join me, see, he's in, he knows what's up. You're with me, good job. They, they come with me, the other two, nope, you're dead. That's how it goes. That's how I run it, you don't like it, too bad. So, a lot of new stuff just opened up for us. We can... See, we're being invaded already. It tells you who's attacking who and where. We're this big blue one in the bottom corner. The connected stuff, you can see the borders with the light blue lines. And we're being attacked. So if we don't 
defend this Jiao Zhi, we will lose that territory to whoever's attacking us. To Sh O Xing. So we have to go and defend them. So, now so capturing the enemy main camp or survive until time runs out. So again, same thing as the other one, capturing the enemy main, main uh, blah, 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 blah. capturing the enemy main camp means connecting all of our camps to their main camp. What I like to do though, same thing as in the other one, have all of our guys stay on defense while I go out and basically distract them and try and kill at least the generals before they get to our area. Yep, there we go. Cool, cool, cool. Captured Guo Shi, join me? Good. Good. Awesome. They all joined. They were smart. So even when you're defending your own territory, you can still capture generals, which is cool. So, win a battle. Yeah, we did that. Oh, that's good. Da -da -da. Size intellect. Sweet. Next month. Either you're not going to use what do we got to do. Put down the L Turban rebels that are threatening the land. Okay. So we're not being invaded now. That's good. Um, let's interact. Where are we here? Wait, what's this? Confession? Oh, okay. Um, let's do, let's interact first. Oh, friendship is already A with her. Okay, cool. So what we're going to do is when you can marry somebody. We're going to marry you wrong. We're going to try to marry you wrong. I'm going to ask her to be Mrs. Swag Money. That's how you're going to do it. Bold and up front. You're going to scare her away, man. Easy. Okay, so we just asked what's her face, you wrong, to marry us. Let's see what she says. I'll accept your proposal. Awesome. Mr. and Mrs. Swag Money. I love my guy's voice, so high pitched and creepy. Alright. So we're married now. Which means that she. I mean, it doesn't really mean anything. You can just do it. You become friends with someone, they become your spouse. And then that's just all that happens. Alright, cool beans. He and the others have set out to defeat the El Turban Rebels. You should join them. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we're gonna join them, but I gotta end this episode. So we'll fight the Yellow Turbans in the next one. For now, though. That is gonna be it. So leave a like if you enjoyed this episode of the Dynasty Warriors 8 empires there will be more in the next coming days and week leading up to uh, battlefield hardline on march 17th so thank you for watching leave a like if you enjoyed subscribe to the channel so you can see when new dynasty warriors are released and i'll see you all in the